How to Recover Gmail Account. Without phone number and recovery email, vertical bar easy steps. In this video, we'll show you how to recover your Gmail account even if you no longer have access to your phone number or recovery email. This step-by-step -step guide is simple and easy to follow, perfect for anyone struggling to regain access to their Gmail account. Whether you forgot your password or lost your recovery options, we have a solution for you. Watch till the end for the full process and get your Gmail account back quickly. First of all, subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. Open the Opera Mini browser. Then tap on Google if you don't see it. Search google.com. Then click Sign Up. You'll be directed to the Sign Up page. Sorry, let's change the language so we can understand better. Okay, let's go. Enter the email address you want to back up. After entering the specific email, click Next. You'll be directed to a page where you need to enter your email password. Since we don't have it and have forgotten it, click on Forget Password. You will receive a message that reads, Couldn't sign you in. You're trying to sign in on a device Google doesn't recognize, and we don't have enough information to verify that it's you. For your protection, you can't sign in here right now. Sometimes, you might be asked to try another way. Click that and follow these steps. What you need to do here is take a screenshot. After taking the screenshot, minimize the page. Go into your notepad, create a new note, and copy the text found in the video description, which reads, Hi Team Gmail, I couldn't access my Gmail account, and I've also lost my phone. I have two-step verification enabled. Now I'm trying to log in to my Gmail on a new phone. Kindly review the following details and allow me to regain access to my Gmail account again. Display name. Write your name. In the display name section, you will write the name you use to create the email account. Account recovery required. On, here, write the email account you want to recover. Contact information. Here, provide another active email address where Gmail can send their responses. So make sure the email address you provide here is active so you can receive messages from the Gmail team. Regards, end with your name here. Copy this message as we will use it later. Minimize the note and go back to Opera Mini. Open a new tab and search for Google support. Click on the first result, Google Help. Click on Gmail. Then click the three lines at the top of the page. Scroll down and click Submit Feedback. On this page, you'll need to send feedback to Google. What is your feedback about? Click the option, something else. On this page, you'll need to describe your feedback by explaining the problem you are facing. I hope you remember the steps I showed earlier on how to fill in the information. If you copied the message, you just need to paste it here. The next step is to upload the screenshot that you took earlier. 
Uploading the screenshot is optional, but it is recommended because it makes it easier for Google to understand the issue you're facing. So, I will upload it. After uploading the screenshot, click Send. You will receive a confirmation message saying you have successfully sent the report. Report sent. Thank you. We use feedback like yours to help fix issues and improve Google services. There's one final step, so stay with me until the end. What you need to do now is wait for a response. Within 24 hours, they will send a message to your email, but it might not take the full 24 hours. A few moments later. After a few hours, I was able to receive an email from Google, so make sure you check for new messages in your email. Once you open the message, you'll see a link that will allow you to sign in and change your password. Click on the section that says, use this link to sign in back. But remember, this link expires in seven days, so once it's in your phone, make sure to continue with the next steps before seven days pass. After clicking, use this link to sign in back, you'll be taken to a page like this, which will ask you to create a new password. It's important to note that you need to create a strong password and keep it private for the security of your account. I will enter the password. Then I will confirm the new password. Next, I will click Change Password. You'll see a message that says, your password was changed. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and at this point, we've successfully recovered your email account. If this method didn't help, we'll create another video specifically for that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.